What's good, Heavy D Nation? Welcome to today's adventure, where we have a special guest, none other than Magic Mitch himself. Food adventurer wandered in from the desert to come to uh, Vegas and check out some of the local hot spots and demolish some food. So check out his channel where you'll see food challenges from this trip debuting in about 2024. So today we are at Ellis Island Casino, but more specifically, the front yard, which is a little restaurant tucked inside. We're gonna show you some delicious muck bangers food porn and then give you our thoughts at the end of the video of the hits misses and where you need to be when brunch time calls for bottomless mimosas so let's get to the good stuff let's get cracking on another excellent adventure heavy d nation the front yard is located inside of ellis island casino ellis island casino is a local favorite it's a smaller casino located on the back of the strip but let me tell you, it is definitely worth the trip. Now we're here today to taste some of the chef's favorites, but we're gonna show you how you can brunch harder with their delicious bottomless mimosas and big ass drinks, as well as if you're into the craft beer scene and are looking to chug beers and conquer fears, then this is the place for you. Not into the uh, alcoholic drinks, they also have dope root beer. So as you see, the menu isn't the biggest menu you'll ever see. But as we all know, it's not the size of the menu, it's the flavor and the food. And this place is banging. Let me tell you all some of the best, boldest, badass flavors I've tasted in a minute. So we're gonna mukbang this, show you what our thoughts are, let's get to it. Yo, this French toast waffle might be one of the best things that I've ever put in my mouth. When they're using Hawaiian sweet bread and then they're battering it in the French toast batter but killing it with the waffle iron to take it up to that next level, shit, you know I'm here all day. Just remember, waffles are pancakes with abs. The texture change on this stuffed crunch French toast was amazing. And let me tell you, you know I loved it because it's stuffed and being a competitive eater and a former fat kid, I'm all about being stuffy and fluffy. Warning, extreme egg yolk porn ahead. This was the dish that was my wish because I love tortilla chips and need every excuse to eat them. So I chose chilaquiles, which is the tortilla chips tossed in a roasted tomatilla salsa, escabeche onions, I got my eggs over easy, and then queso fresco sprinkled on top with that chicken for them extra gains, y'all. Let me know below if you've ever had that. You take a bite, it's so good, you get back down in there, grab a bigger bite, and shove it in your mouth. That's the way to be. Today is a special adventure because not only do we get brisket, we get to risk it for the biscuit today and cheddar biscuits, which one of my favorite foods when I was fat was the Cheddar Bay biscuits from Red Lobster. Let me know below if you've ever had a go. So we're here. We didn't even get to really try this one because the person that got this housed it faster than Heavy D drinking ultras on a Saturday night, if you know what I mean. They say that eating bacon takes years off of your life. Then when you batter it and deep fry it, it has to take decades off of your life. And if that's the case, I'm all for it because this was freaking delicious. What's up, Heavy D Nation? So as you saw, we were at the front yard in Ellis Island Casino, which is just off the strip. It's like a family-owned casino, kind of a little bit of a hole-in-the-wall place to stay, but the food in the front yard was amazing. What did you think of the food? I mean, he's not normally a mock banger, and we were out there on the front lines banging and hanging on a brunch service. What was your initial thought? My first initial thought was this place looks a lot nicer than most establishments I visit. Uh, I'm usually not nice to the, accustomed to uh, these nicer, look slightly more bougie, brunchy atmospheres, so that was a nice treat. If I was a bunch of single guys, I think I might frequent there. Lots of big TVs with sports going, bottomless mimosas, 
good quality food, all things that babes lend themselves to go to brunch with, not the seedy, you know, greasy spoons that we're accustomed to. <laughs> yeah, and then go out, uh, you strike out, you still got the big screens to just get your mind off it. And... What was your favorite thing that we had? I mean, we, you saw we tried the French toast waffle, we tried the oh. stuffed French toast with strawberry cream cheese in the middle there, fries and shine, which was the burnt ends fries, all that goodness, chilaquiles, and then brisket benedict. I think that's all we really had, right? Yeah, uh, I think so. Oh, the deep three little pigs. Oh, oh yeah, the deep yeah, fried bacon. Can't, can't forget, forget three little pigs. Can't forget about that. Oh, uh, my favorite thing, uh, the waffle. That waffle was fantastic. That I just each each. Part of the waffle was great. The waffle by itself was great. The syrup, because they, they all had like little layers to it. Like the syrup, it just wasn't syrup. There's was a little something to it. Maybe some cinnamon or something another. Maybe a little vanilla almost or something like that. But then there was also the uh, the butter that came with it. It wasn't just butter. There was something to it too. Like it was butter or cinnamon or something. Something else. I don't want to say a little extra magic in there. It was like Texas Roadhouse cinnamon butter, Golden Corral cinnamon butter, but there was definitely something in each of those. You're not wrong. Yeah, like it's still. So they were they were pretty good by themselves, but when you get a bite of all those put together, it was just, it was fantastic. I agree with that. It was fantastic. I didn't really try the fries and shine, which had a lot going on, but I definitely think my favorite was actually, I hate to say it, the Three Little Pigs. It's, they, they house cure their own bacon, which is already, we're, we're moving up in the book. Then they bread it in their own seasoned batter and deep fry it. So now we have deep fried bacon. So I mean, my heart is shrink, my arteries are shrinking, but my heart is growing because this is like the greatest thing I've ever seen. And then like the fattiness, the chewy, like the crisp bite, it like didn't, it wasn't like crispy bacon, but it wasn't like raw bacon, like it split the difference. You kind of got the best of both worlds. With the initial crunch of the outside fried and then that nice juicy bacon on the inside. How do you like your bacon? Are we like a crispy where we can break it on the table? Or are you like one of those soft and kind of limp people? I mean, they're, they're, they're for everyone, you know? No one likes the back end heat. We all know that, especially as competitive eaters. We do not like back end heat. Bottomless mimosas, I thought that was a good one. 25 bucks, all you can drink mimosas. That's got bad news and bad, that's got good news and bad decisions written all over it. Let me text them. They also have the, uh, the bags. Big ass glasses or whatever. Oh, that's right. They had big ass glasses of uh, what was it, sangria, rose, and all that. I mean, this is this is a bruncher's paradise. Support local business. If you're looking for some of those joints that are, you know, not on the strip in Vegas where the locals hang out, definitely more of a local vibe. They follow all the great social distancing guidelines. If you're a rad dude with attitude, this is also kind of a brewery, so they have a full brew list on there. I tried one of their, I think it was like a, an American lager, that's more my style. Very good, you know, nothing too, too crazy, nothing too hoppish, that's not my style, but a good, clean, crisp beer that paired well with deep fried bacon. Healthy meal overall, lots of fruits and vegetables in that meal. Cream cheese, stuffed French toast, you know, orange juice, fresh, I mean, a pretty healthy meal. The adventure, for us, it was a pretty healthy meal.